So what do you think, Kylie? What do I think? I'm thinking maybe I go with the Poke Bowl again for lunch. Yeah. It's just clean. It's very clean. I, yeah. I really like the tuna, actually. I'm quite hungry, too. Oh! Sorry, <laughs> didn't see you there. We are here at the Cartier booth here at Watches and Wonders. And just as we expected like last year, Cartier always comes to the fair with a ton of novelties, which means there's a ton to go through. I'll kick things off. Cartier Tank Privé Tank Normal Collection. Now, of course, the tank is one of Cartier's most iconic designs, if not the most iconic. But this release brings everything back to where it began in 1917, respecting the original proportions of the Tank Normal. So for each watch, we have a nice beveled sapphire crystal to create that vintage vibe. The proportions of the case, again, are maintained just like the original. We have options in yellow gold, platinum, and we have options for the straps as well, as they're outfitted in either a leather strap or a seven-piece link bracelet. I love the bracelet. Which color would you say was your favorite? Oh, gold. The gold one gold? is my favorite. The brushing on the bracelet is just so, okay. so well done. You have the gold. Yeah. I'm going to take the platinum. Oh. Now, heavy hitter. Before we get going on the next set of releases from Cartier, the Tank Normal is not done yet. We also have the Tank Normal skeleton. So, with these two releases, we have the best of the past and a sense of modernity as well, because yes. open working is kind of a modern flair. It's not very much a 1917 aesthetic, right? So that reminds me of the Tank Louis Cartier. The, um, in particular, the mosaic dial. That's really a reference from the past as well. In the 1970s, they had yeah. those wonderful, um, really retro dials using lots of different colors. And they've brought that back, but with the Tank Louis. So the 18 karat gold case, the usual tank that we're all used to, that we all love, but this time with the tri-gold dial. Yes. All three types of gold inlaid onto the dial in this really wonderful geometric pattern. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. but your shirt also reminds me yes. of the other Tank Louise. Yeah, the Tank Fun is not done just yet. <laughs> Some of you may be familiar with the Tank Musts from a few years ago with both burgundy and green lacquer dials, but these were in steel cases and with quartz movements. Great for accessibility, however, now the offering is a bit more elevated as we enter the realm of precious metal and a manually wound caliber. So both are cased in yellow gold, one with a beautiful burgundy lacquer dial and the other a green lacquer dial. And it's very clean and crisp with just the hours and minutes. No more, no less. I think that's all for the tanks, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. I think so. Because then we move into Santos. Lunch. Yes, we move into Santos territory. Yeah. Kylie, why don't you kick things off well. with Santos? Santos, I mean, it's a, it's a beautiful watch. We all know the Santos um, well. And this season, not much has changed with the actual case of the bracelet. They're all the things that we know and sometimes know love. love. Yeah. 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 Uh, but this year, what Cartier has done with the Santos is to introduce the blue dial, which was only in the large, now into the medium which is really good. Um, and would really match what you're wearing. Oh, thanks, yeah. yeah. I, in fact, I did try it on. I thought that's, <laughs> this is quite good. Yeah. The other thing that's new is that the dial is not a, a standard sunray dial. It's now a fume dial. Yep. So in both the blue and the green versions, this is very subtle, refined, I think, yes. fume dial. Subtly smoked, as yeah, we said. Yeah, subtly smoked, <laughs> yeah. So God, with, with the launch of the Blue Santos a few yes. years ago, that was really potentially the first time we had this sort of fume aesthetic in the Santos line. Yes. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. But th we also had developments in the Santos Dumont line as well. Yes. And I, th I think you, you particularly love these. Yeah. Color. <laughs> I might have a bit of a bias here because yeah. um, as it was well documented last year's fair, I was a big fan of the lacquered Santos Dumont range. In fact, I'm wearing it right now on my wrist. But we now have like the next evolution of that collection with an all new Santos Dumont micro rotor skeleton watch. The caliber inside took two years to develop and it's beautifully open worked and it has very nice sort of industrial chamfers applied to these bridges that are filled with lines of lacquer to match the color of the strap. Now we have it in steel, rose gold and yellow gold. That being said, the yellow gold is going to stand out just a bit more. Why? Because this limited edition has its case lacquered in dark lacquer. So it takes things a step further. It really is the sequel to what I'm wearing right now. It's absolutely beautiful. A great evolution of the first ever pilot's watch. If you look at the micro rotor, it is the Demoiselle plane that Albert Santos Dumont actually piloted. It's just, it's a complete technical and aesthetic tribute to this line. Fantastic. 
And I feel there is that kind of theme that runs through all of Cartier's collection here, that we have this nod to the past and modernity and technological yes. elegance in Absolutely. modernity. Absolutely. But I guess then we kind of go to the Pasha. Yes, speaking of another icon. Which is another icon, yeah. a Gerald Genta designed icon. Yes. Uh, the Pasha, I think, is is more of the more of an underrated watch in Cartier's catalogue. It's feel it's felt like caged in as of late. Yeah. That's a bit of a wash pun for you. Oh, but yeah. I think more and more people are starting to catch on yeah. to it's a very cool and funky design. Certainly, I think the, the Pasha looks really great on the wrist and caged in as you've got it right, <laughs> because <laughs> the Pasha that particularly stood out to me is the one with the grill. Uh, this particular Pasha in rose gold, 35 millimeters, has a grill that's also lacquered in red to yeah. match the bracelet, very beautiful but also it's two watches in one. So if you want a bit more of an avant-garde look, you're going out for dinner, whatever it is, you put the grill on. But then if you want to go to your business meeting, you can take the grill off and you've got a standard pasha. Absolutely. So I think that's really cool. And it's again, this sort of scenario of aesthetic meaning function, right? Because with the grill on, you're also protecting the sapphire crystal. So in moments where you feel like there might be a shock to the crystal, you can leave this beautiful, gorgeous red cage on your dial. And like you said, when you have a bit of more of a, sort of sober business meeting, you take the, the cage off and you're good to go. Two watches in one, just like you well, said. That's that's right. Um, and really to round it out, obviously, yes. with, with Cartier, we, we wouldn't, it wouldn't be Cartier without some jewelry watches, without some, some Pontier. And there was certainly quite, quite a bit of that in this collection. Yes. Um, some really interesting pieces, very much aesthetic at the core of what they're doing, even to the point where in one of the Panthier watches, there isn't a crown and you have to wind the watch. I shouldn't say wind because it's a quartz watch, but you have to set the time of the watch with a tool at the back. And obviously that's very much about the aesthetic of the timepiece, a beautiful panther head, some green emerald for your so maybe yeah. envious eyes, whatever it is. I don't know. Absolutely. Um, Look, this was a lot, there. a lot of stuff to go through. So I yeah. think just to quickly round things out, if you can only pick one to walk away with, which one are you going to walk away with? Oh, the, definitely the Tank Normal in yellow gold. That watch, yeah. the brushing, beautiful. Okay. You, I'm torn because oh. part of me is leaning where you're going. Yeah. Tank Normal, but in platinum on the bracelet. Might have to sell uh, another kidney to afford that watch, <laughs> but. Yeah, I would say that or the Santos Dumont skeleton with the yes. navy lacquer case. I could start building on a collection of, of lacquered Santos. Yes. I don't know. It's the sibling watch to yeah. that one. Look, there's yeah. just so much to like. Yeah. I think that really wraps up for Cartier here yeah. at Watches and Wonders. Absolutely. I think there's something for everyone in this yes. collection. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But, we'll see you on the next one. See ya.